Pop Pop, the Big Pop Boy. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Big Pop Boy. In this episode, we are going to be having a look at some of my own personal favourites for the top 10 booster boxes that you can invest in right now. So, before we quickly get into the video, I just want to let everybody know we are still doing the giveaway um, for when we hit 4,000 subscribers. If you want to enter that giveaway, drop a comment down below and tell me the kind of things that you like to invest in, or not just to invest in, but to buy and build up your collection. Like, I know I always say invest, but for me, my collection is always going to be an investment. It's always something for the future. It's not something that I plan to take to the grave with me. It's an investment for my kids down the line. So this is why I will always say to invest in and where we like to invest our poker monies. So drop that comment down below, guys. Make sure you're in our 4,000 subscriber giveaway so you can win an elite trainer box and a mystery box for one lucky winner. Who will it be? Probably won't be me, but it could be one of you guys. So let's get straight down to it, guys. And we're gonna start in the number 10 place. In the number 10 place, I have put the Unified Minds booster box, okay? It, most of the booster boxes on this are going to be relatively-ish, new-ish, well, not completely new, but they're going to be booster boxes that are good value at the moment, so you can buy them and you know they're going to go up in price, whereas when you look at like an Evolutions booster box, um, a few months ago they were selling for in around 1400 now they're back down to 1000 If you were to go out and buy one, uh, an um, XY Evolutions booster box, I reckon the price still might go down a bit on it because it is a super, super heavily printed um, set. So I don't think it's a great investment for down the road. Not at the price it's at at the moment anyway. So as I was saying, sorry, get sidetracked sometimes. As I was saying, in the number 10 spot, guys, the Unified Minds Booster Box, which you can pick up right now for quite a reasonable price of €350. Euro. 350 euro I think is an okay price for this booster box. Um, do I see it going up to mad money? Not really, but on the other hand, it's gonna hit four or 500 in the next year or so, and it's gonna continue to rise. So like it will keep going up in value. As well as that guys, there's some fantastic cards in it. You can get yourself the Slowpoke and Psyduck GX, which is an absolutely great card. You have Mewtwo and Mew GX, the rainbow variant of that. I think it's selling somewhere in around 200 euro at the moment. Quite an expensive card. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that price. Please don't quote me in the comments saying it's actually selling for 212 euro or something silly like that. I'm not after checking all the prices, I'm just going by memory. So the only prices I've checked is the booster boxes. But to the best of my knowledge, that Mew, Mewtwo um, Secret Rare card, the beautiful rainbow baby, is selling somewhere in around 200, to the best of my knowledge. And as well as that, there's also Misty's Favor in there. So you've got quite a nice selection of Tag Team GX's, GX's full art trainer cards. It's it's a good all-round set. So that brings us to the number nine spot. And the number nine spot isn't too far away from Unified Minds. It's actually Unbroken Bonds. So Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds, which you can pick up for in around 400 to 450 euros, which isn't too bad. I'm seeing the average price overall that they're going for is the 230 mark. So that's quite good for me. It was a battle between the 10th and 9th place. For the simple reason of that I put them in the position that I put them is because I see Unbroken Bonds going for more money in the future. So even though it's up higher priced at the moment, I think you'll have better return down the line on it as well. So that's why she got the number 9 spot, not the number 10 spot. So as well as that, you have, um, oh, what card coming up? Right, you have a, a beautiful Blastoise GX for a start, gorgeous card. You have um, Red's Challenge, is it? Is it Red's Challenge that's in it? Yeah, I think so. Red's Challenge? I yeah, I think it's Red's Challenge. You have Green's Expedition as well. 
uh, as well as that, the Chase card in it is obviously the Reshiram and Charizard cards, which you can get the Rainbow Rare again, Reshiram and Charizard. It's pretty expensive. I believe it's over 150 euro, which isn't too bad. It's quite a good price. So, Unbroken Bonds in the number 9 spot, guys. A great booster box to get out and get yourselves. So then we have the number 8 spot. The number 8 spot is, is kind of an underlooked set. Like, people look at it and they go, eh, it's not too special. But it is kind of special. And that's Sun and Moon base set. And why is Sun and Moon base set kind of special? Can anybody tell me the answer? Quick, down in the comments. Five, four, three, two, one. You're too late. I'm going to give you the answer. The answer is because GX cards began in Sun and Moon base set. So it's the first set to have really nice GX cards. Well, to have any GX cards, not just really nice ones. So being the first set to have GX cards makes me feel like it's going to go up quite a bit in price, okay? Yeah, it's definitely going to go up quite a bit in price. It's an underlooked set at the moment. You can pick it up for in around €220, Euro, which is not really that much. You have a beautiful Lily card. That's a full art trainer card. It's gorgeous. You've got Lapras GX, Espeon GX, Emporion GX. The list goes on, guys. Lots of absolutely brilliant cards in the set. And as I said, the first set to have GX cards rocking at a very low price of 220 euro at the moment for me that is a major good buy all right let's get to number seven in the number seven spot we have another base set okay and that base set is sword and shield base set sword and shield base set is going for in around 190 euro at the moment and um, given prices in ireland of a pack that's probably like retail price buying per pack in around that market anyway but it's not really the worst price in the world, okay? Because you've got that Marnie card in there, the um, Full Art Marnie and the Rainbow Marnie, and they are going, like, really freaking expensive. Um, again, above the €100 Euro mark, I think they could be close enough to the 200 mark. I'd have to go check, which I'm not going to do. But... It's pretty expensive. You've also got Snorlax, Rainbow Rare, and Full Art, obviously, and Lapras, Full Art, and Rainbow Rare. Like, two good cards that people will be chasing. Um, you've got the Golden Dogs, Zacian and Zamasa. Two great cards. Like, come on, big gold puppies with shields and swords. Who doesn't want that? So, that's the number seven place, guys. And that brings us into the number six spot. The number six spot is another one from Sword and Shield, and that is Darkness Ablaze, guys. I'm giving Darkness Ablaze the number six spot because you can still pick it up for in around 240 euro. There's a gold Rillaboom card, there's a VMAX Charizard, there's a beautiful full art pierce, there's a great selection of cards in there, some other really good full art trainers, and for 240 euro, guys, it's an absolute bargain. I know people have been going absolutely over the top on recent sets, stocking them up. Like um, Things like Shining Fates, for instance, they're not going to be worth that much money down the line. I know people are putting boxes and boxes of them away, and that's the problem. Everybody is putting boxes and boxes and boxes of them away. So if everybody's putting 20 fucking Shining Fates ETBs away, and then they're all going back on the market over the next 5-10 years. They're not really going to be that rare. And rarity is what brings the price up. So it's, it's not really going to be too great. Darkness Ablaze is one that's going to be a great seller down the line. But at the same time, I still think a lot of people are going to be stocking up on this. Which is why it's so far back down the list as opposed to being up higher. I just feel like there's going to be more of them available in the future because people will be holding so many of them hoping to get a great return. Like thinking that they're going to be able to sell it for like a base set first edition box that was selling for like what a quarter of a million or whatever crazy amounts of money. So realistically Darkness Ablaze is a good set to hold for the future. But it's not going to be massive money because people are going to be holding a lot of them. Still a good set. Okay. Anyway. Into the number five spot. 
another base set, okay? And that's XY base set, okay? It's a bit more expensive, guys. It's, right, the middle of this list, there's a couple of really expensive sets. The reason they're in the middle is because they're so expensive to buy right now, but at the same time, they're quite old sets, so the prices that they're going for is actually really okay, you know? Like, you have XY base set, average price I'm finding out there, guys, is around 1,200 euro. It's kind of expensive. I don't have 1,200 euro to go out and blow on a booster box to put away. Wish I did, but unfortunately I don't. Is it a great set? Well, yeah, it is, because you've got absolutely amazing artworks in it. Like, the artworks are, like, top notch, to be quite honest. You have a great Venusaur, you have a great Blastoise, and you've got the Mega Evolutions as well of Venusaur and Blastoise, which, come on, they're absolutely brilliant cards. Blastoise EX, Venusaur EX, and the Mega Evolution for either of them. Cards that, <coughs> squeeze me guys, cards that are definitely going to go up in value. So, number 5 spot, 1200 euro XY base set. Worth it? Yes. Expensive? Yes. Can I afford it? No. Oh well. So, let's move on to the number four spot. The number four spot is another really, really expensive set. Also coming in, in around €1,200. Euro. But if I had to choose, I would get this over XY base set if I had €1,200 euro to spend. And that's black and white noble victories, alright? Noble Victories, guys, is an absolutely great set. You've got um, fantastic cards like um, one that people might not think of very often, the Secret um, Secret Me Out, that has like the Payday coin on the card. It's really nice. I'm sure I'll be able to find it and throw it up here somewhere. So it's a really nice card, guys. It's got that Secret Rare Me Out. It's got a beautiful End Trainer card, which is another one that I think will go for good money down the road. Because if you guys haven't heard me say this already, I'm pretty sure N is a Zoroark. I'm just saying. He looks very similar to him. Like, go check it out, guys. Definitely something tricky going on there. And um, you've got Victini. Victini, um... EX, another absolutely beautiful card. The cards in this just really look nice, like. You've got the Victini card, it's all like um, red and it just looks good. And then you've also got like the Verizon EX, which is all green and it, the, the cards just look really, really nice in this set. Again, 1200 euro is expensive, but it is definitely worth it. So, after the number four, we're into the top three, guys. And the top three might shock you. <clears throat> I tell you what, the number one spot is definitely going to shock you because it's super cheap at the moment. I don't know why it's so cheap and it's a great set. But we're not there yet. So we're on to the number three. And the number three spot I'm giving to Vivid Voltage. Okay? Why am I giving it to Vivid Voltage? Because this set has just blown shit out of the water. It's fantastic. You've got Pikachu V, Pikachu V Max, Chunky Pikachu, Pink Pikachu, other nice Pikachu. It's just a great set with lots and lots of Pikachus. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I keep coughing. But at the same time, it's not just Pikachus. You've also got a Charizard in there. Yeah, your chase for that Charizard is a reverse holo, but still, it's a good card to have. It's going to go up in value. Having the set sealed as a booster box is definitely going to go up in value. Because Vivid Voltage kicked off so much again with, um, with new Pokemon collectors and everybody just went crazy for this set. So I see it having a lot of nostalgic value for people down the line. And at the same time, it would have been higher on the list. It might have even got the second or first spot. But I also feel again like a lot of people are going to be holding on to... Vivid Voltage booster boxes and hoping for them to go back of open value. If I'm not mistaken, I have two of them sitting over here. But that means everybody else has a couple of them sitting around as well. Why have they got a couple of them sitting around? Because they know it's going to resell good. But because everybody has them, it's supply and demand. If there's too much supply and not enough demand, prices go down. You guys know how it works. It's not rocket science. It's simple businessy stuff. I don't know how I can figure it out, but I can. So... That is 
the, oh, and Vivid Voltage. Some really nice other cards in there as Nessa, guys. The Nessa full art um, trainer card. Bay full art trainer card. The Pokemon Center Lady full art. Like, all these really nice cards that, um, if I'm not mistaken, the word people are now using for them is waifu cards. Which apparently means animation woman that you want to give it to. Alright, whatever, right? Each and every one to their own. Who am I to judge if you dream about cartoons? Okay, I have a wife. I don't have to dream about cartoons. She won't let me. So there you go. Anyway, in the number one spot, guys. And, uh, oh wait, no, I didn't even do the number two spot. What am I doing? Like, what's going on? So, guys, into the number two spot. Before we do the number one spot, which would be smart, is, um... This is a great set, okay? And at the moment, the prices are average to high, but it's a great set. It's well worth buying. It's the first set to have Tag Team GX cards. It's got a beautiful Pikachu and Zekrom card. What's that that I'm talking about, in case you don't already know? That's Team Up, okay? Sun and Moon Team Up, guys. The first to have GX cards. It's got the um, Latos, Latios and Letios, or whatever way you say them. The two big supersonic bird type dragon dinosaur or weird thing. I don't know what the hell they are. But you know the guys I'm talking about. You have the alternate art with the like heart and the stuff. It's a really nice card. It's somewhere in around the 180 mark if I'm not mistaken. So it's a pretty darn expensive card. You've also got Pikachu and Zekrom. You've got um, Erica's Hospitality and Sabrina's something. Can't remember what the Sabrina card is. But anyway, you've got like Full Art Sabrina, Full Art Erica, two absolutely fantastic cards. Like, what's not the love about the set? Except for the price. The price is coming in in around 800 euro for a set that came out in 2018? Would I be right to say that? I think it was 2018. A set that came out in the last couple of years, that 800 is pretty darn high. But at the same time, it's not out long enough that all the new people who are jumping on hoarding as much Pokemon stuff for resale as they can. Which, hey, look, people got to make money, guys. I ain't mad at you. Some people might be, but I'm not. That set has been around just before all this kind of happened. So people hadn't had a chance to stock up as much on it. And a lot of the cards went more to... Uh, children and stuff like that so it was great you know the cards got out there it's made it that bit more rare so the price has gone up there's not too many of them being held in stock and i think it's a set that you are easily going to see going in the four digits fairly damn soon so it's one that's definitely worth buying in my opinion um 800 euro if you don't already have a booster box in your collection that 800 euro will be well spent it's definitely a box that's going to go up in value. And that brings us to our number one spot, guys. Our number one spot. We are going back a bit in the years. I think, is this the oldest set on this list? I think it might actually be the oldest set on this list. I can't remember. Maybe Black and White Noble Victories is old. No, it's not. It's not. No, sorry. I'm getting confused upon myself. So, the number one booster box, guys, that you can buy is... It? As I said, from a great set. It's from Heart Gold and Soul Silver Unleashed. It wasn't the most popular set in the Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but the price of it at the moment is after making me definitely have to have it on this list. It's not a bad set, like, it's a good set all around. You've got um, Kingdra Prime, Tyrantar Prime, um, oh, you got all the top and bottom cards of the three legendary dogs. Um, you've like, Entai and Ryoku and Entai and Sukuane and Ryoku and Sukukane and Sukukane and Ryoku and yeah, you got loads of them, all right? They got the top half and the bottom half for each card. <coughs> I don't know what's going on, I keep coughing. It's probably because it's really late and I'm usually asleep now. But anyway, there are some really darn expensive cards in that set. The top and bottom cards, having them like, um, the more expensive top and bottom cards would actually be the Lugia and Ho Ho, and um, yeah, they went for a lot more. But at the same time, the three legendary dog top and bottom cards are also great cards to have. They look really good, 
they're cool to um to fill out a binder to put on display they're just winners they're like in my opinion they're like um jumbo cards okay except they weren't jumbo cards yet because they were just like regular pokemon cards that were like that size so they were like smaller jumbo cards they were like precursors to jumbo cards and you can get heart gold and soul silver unleashed for in around 600 euros a booster box <coughs> 600 euro is absolutely brilliant for a booster box guys that's like that's pretty darn good value i think it's well worth buying a booster box or two or three if you have the money keeping them in your collection they will go up quite a lot so that's the end of the list i hope everybody enjoyed the list don't forget guys throw down a comment down the bottom to be in our giveaway and let me know exactly what kind of things you like adding to your collection at the moment. Are you looking for ETBs? Are you going with Pokemon toys? I actually got some really cool Pokemon toys the other day. I got, all right, I'm taking this out. I got like all three starters in these in um, what we call a Euro store here in Europe. So it's like a really cheap ass store. I got these for like five euros each, which I'm really happy about. I got um, Charmander. Bulbasaur and Squirtle. I'm actually missing the Pikachu from that starter set, but um, I'll get the Pikachu soon enough, I hope. And guys, tell me what you guys like to invest in. Just just give me the things you're, you're filling your collection with right now. I like to fill it with a bit of everything. I like toys, I like posters, I like Pokemon cards, I like rubbing my nipples, I like loads of stuff. Let me know. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching and I will see you all later. Have an absolutely fantastic week. You're welcome. You're welcome. Something, something, something. Don't know the words. You're welcome. All right, bye guys.